of uh, school officials wow. in, in Laurel County uh, who have abused alcohol and as a result come under uh, suspicion and criminal mm. accusation. And as a result of that, uh, what, a, what a terrible uh, example mm. uh, to all the students of our, of our schools that there are those uh, who are abusing alcohol even with children and minors. Oh. And it's a, it's a heartbreaking thing. And if it's at that level now, what will it be when you can stop at any corner in the city oh. and buy alcohol? And too many people have said in the past, and they're still saying it today, well, there's nothing I can do about it. That's very wrong. There is something you can do about it. When uh, you say there's nothing I can do about it and just sit idle, that's when it just takes over. But if you'll stand up and stand strong for what's right, you can make a difference. That's exactly right. Someone has said, I can't remember who this quote comes from, but that something like all that is required for evil to triumph is that good people, moral right. people, just do nothing. Mm. And a lot of people will have just back, I've talked to people, you know, that are Christian people who attend church regularly who just say, I don't think that this should be something that the churches should be involved in. And uh, to answer that question, uh, I'll just say that if that is your position, you haven't looked at the history of our country. Our country, uh, it has been from the pulpits of our nation that the morality and the direction of our nation has right. been so greatly affected. Mm. And when the pulpits are silent mm. about issues like this, then what we have is, a, is just a void and uh, to say nothing is to agree right. with the opposite position. As far as I'm concerned, I, I don't believe that we should, uh, you know, uh, endorse candidates uh, from the pulpit. I do not mm -hmm. believe that we should get involved in political issues as, as far as uh, that, that type of endorsing of candidates. Right. We know that legally we can't even do that. Mm -hmm. But this is a moral issue. Exactly. This is not just some political decision that's being made. This affects the morality, this affects the health, it affects the economy of our families. Mm -hmm. We're all going to be affected by this. And so I just want to encourage all of you that are listening and watching right now, you go to the polls in Corbin, and I think it's next week. Go to the polls in your respective city and your precinct. You go with a moral conviction and say, I am going to do my part. I'm going to vote no. And I am going to, between now and that time, I am going to be praying right. and calling on God, asking the Lord uh, to give uh, people uh, the courage mm -hmm. to do what is right. Exactly. And there's nobody that can convince me that this is right. Uh, you know, alcohol sells, it's just not right. It's destroyed so many lives. Alcohol, uh, people, alcoholics in general. You know, there's some people that's trying to get free and this has got such a grip on their it life. Does. It does. Even uh, good Christian folks fell by the wayside and got on this stuff. Exactly right. I in the, uh, I've been in, in ministry for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. Early part of my ministry, I worked in alcohol rehab centers mm. and uh, so I've had some experience working with people this does not mean that we are unsympathetic to people who are who are in, in this type of a, an addiction right uh, we're, we're very compassionate toward people who are in this addiction but we don't want to see our children move into this mm -mm. we don't want to see our young people move into this and uh, to make it uh, more accessible and available is to only encourage them to get involved in uh, alcohol abuse right. and so um, I would just say you know when you look at people who are bound by alcohol they're under contr the control of this uh, uh, you know just totally uh, not able to, to, to make a good moral judgment mm -hmm. not able to do what's right many times uh, losing their job Many times the, the family is so devastated, homes are broken up, right. children are affected, and uh, it, is, it is a sad and a devastating thing. And uh, I just say, please, right. vote no and uh, uh, join with us in this cause, which I believe is a righteous, 
moral cause. Exactly. And you know, I've seen so many times, and I'm sure you have too, it seems like when they get one thing voted in, they'll try to vote something else in. You know, as soon as they got the moist vote, they made plans to make it go total wet. And you know, what's going to be next? Gambling, the casinos, uh, the bars right on Main Street, they'll vote that in. They'll try th their best to just totally destroy the sure. fabric that we was raised up with. And it'll even go further. It will go to the point of uh, expanding into the counties, mm -hmm. not just city votes. Then it'll expand to the counties. Then it will be, like you said, it will be bars, it will be clubs. Uh, it will be all types of, of uh, things that that tend toward more of a moral decline mm, uh, it, in our community. It just breaks my heart. It seems like even right now we've had such a situation with the drug problem and you know we don't need other problems. You know I'd like to take the time to say what a wonderful job the city and the state police and, and our sheriff's department are doing the war against drugs and then they're going to have another war on their hands. They are. They are. And uh, it's going to be, um, uh, it, it's just going to add to the chaos. Mm -hmm. 